Hello everyone, welcome back to Getting It Done with Carol. Today guys, I am going to get our bedroom, a good cleaning because our furniture is so dusty that you will see later on in the video and it really needs to be cleaned. And also our master bathroom can use some cleaning so I'm going to do that also. So I would like to say if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you love the content that you see, please join our family by just tapping that red subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time a new video has been uploaded. Now right here I'm showing you a new set of linen that I purchased which I'm going to take it out of the package and I'm going to throw it in the wash because I always wash my linen before I put it on my bed. Come on, let your clothes drop down to the floor. I want to see you moving slowly to the music. We'll be dimming the lights, then lock the door. I know it sounds crazy, but hey, we're gonna do it. Come on. Yeah. Send a little DM, uh -huh. trying to make some plans. Trying, Come baby. Come on, baby, later in the PM. Ooh. Hope that you will understand. Yeah. I think that if you get to know me, so here I'm just going to dust off this little shelves up here. These two shelves, they are so full of dust, as you will soon see from this uh, microfiber cloth that I show you. It is so dusty, so I just want to give it some good polishing and a good cleaning. And then I'm going to go around and clean the rest of the furniture. Now right here, I'm just showing you how dusty this nightstand is. Because I get comments about your house being so clean. My house is not. My house get dusty and dirty just like everyone else's. And right here, as you can see, how dusty it is. That's why my husband had to purchase us an air purifier in our room. Because, I mean, I will dust one minute and the next minute it is dirty all over again, as you can see here. But you know what? I'm going to take care of this problem right now. everyone is well and is safe with what's going on now I would like to say welcome again to my new subscribers and I would like to tell you a little bit about myself I am a wife a mother and a grandmother we have six beautiful children and four lovely grandchildren our children are all grown now and my husband and I are empty nesters my husband and I has been married for 41 beautiful years we moved to Florida in 2016 and we love it however we still have children that live in New Jersey and we still have grandchildren that live in New Jersey. So sometime I do wonder if I moved a little bit too far because I miss them so, so much. 
And I would like to say to my sustaining subscribers, thank you so much for hanging in there with your girl. Thank you so much for your love and support. I love you guys. dusting and polishing the furniture here that is on this dresser this comforter set that's on the right hand side in the chair right there goes on our bed we do not sleep under our comforter we sleep under separate blankets and pillows so as soon as I learn and finish washing and drying I will be putting that comforter set on our bed Okay, now I need to reach these two shelves up here to get them a good cleaning. So I'm going to remove this conference set from this chair here so I can reach these shelves. If I can't stop, if I should fall, just go ahead, go and catch me, baby. that was on the furniture I am just so glad my husband purchased this air purifier because he purchased this uh, when I did my extreme closet transformation video you have seen it in that video so guys if you have not seen that video please go back and see it if you're looking for some great closet um, motivation I mean my closet was a hot mess and it really need to be organized and declutter so if you're looking for some motivation of that order, please go back and check that video out. I'll have it linked in my description box. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Okay, now the linen is in the dryer, so I decided that I'll keep the ball rolling and come in the bathroom and give that a good cleaning and sanitizing. And after that is done, I'll go and get the linen and make up the bed and vacuum and then I'll be done. just to give the mirror a good clean and I had to go into our bedroom to get it so and I, you know guys I really love this spray wet it really does a good job if you've never tried it try it out and see it's really good Okay, 
And now right here I have my uh, makeup trays that I use for my makeup and my brushes and my palettes and lipstick and whatever. And guys, I was just thinking, uh, where can I put this stuff? Because, you know, I have my combs and brushes and all that stuff up there. And right here, I have my Bath and Body Works lotions and sprays and whatnot. And I was trying to think of where else can I put this instead of on our, you know, bathroom counter. So, um, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out where else to put it. I haven't come up with a plan yet. So, I am thinking, guys, how else can I do this or where else can I put some of this stuff? So, I am contemplating on putting it somewhere, but I just don't know where. This is how it goes. Sits a track, guessing everybody knows. Fire on the floor, sticking out the door. So here I am in our shower. I'm trying to give this a good cleaning and sanitizing. I'm using the Clorox spray. And I'm also using this little brush to try to get into the little corners and the little grooves to try to give it, you know, to try to get it clean as I can. And I'm also gonna clean the shower floor. As you can see, the door closed on me as I go down to clean it so I open the door back up and here I am back on my hands and knees on that shower floor trying to give it a good cleaning Just moving the item from around this garden tub so I can reach the back part of the tub because it's kind of difficult to reach this area so the best way to do it is by me sitting in the tub and then spraying down the area and giving it a good cleaning. Okay, now I am in our water closet. That's what they call this toilet area, and I'm giving these pictures a good cleaning. And then, guys, here it is. I am showing you. I'm using the blue rag cleaning, but I'm going to use the orange one to clean the toilet. Because, guys, this is one area I do not like to clean. I do not like to clean around toilets. I just don't. So I am going to make sure I really get this toilet area a good cleaning and a good sanitizing. When I thought I didn't care, I just saw standing near, my feelings come to life. Even 
even though I'm using the Clorox spray around the toilet and inside the toilet, I had to go and get my Lysol toilet cleaner and add that to it. There's no place I'd rather be here in this world. Cause I have no doubt and I know she is the one. Cause it really was giving up on love. And I tried to block those feelings off. So here I'm just spraying around the bottom of the toilet. I'm making sure I get down and around in all the crevices and everywhere around that toilet I can reach. I'm going to make sure I sanitize it and give it a good cleaning. So here I am using a Clorox spray to spray and to give the gloves a good cleaning and sanitizing those gloves. Then I'm just going to go ahead and wash my hands really good because guys I was even though I had on gloves and I had to clean around that toilet, I just don't like cleaning the toilet. That's all I can say. I just don't like cleaning it. It's not that our toilet is bad or filthy or anything like that because it's just my husband and I. But guys, I know what goes inside of a toilet and that's what gets to me. And I tried to block those feelings off. What else can I do? In the middle of sex, and it all came back. So now I'm going to get ready to sweep this area and then get ready to mop and then I'll be done with the bathroom. Okay, here I am back in our bedroom. Now I'm getting ready to make this bed, vacuum this floor, and then guys, I will be done. Now these pillows that's on the bed that I'm putting in these pillowcases that comes with the linen, I am not gonna use to put on the bed. I have our comforter set, and I have pillows that I purchased to go with the set, and that's what I'll be using to finish making up the bed with. Now right here I have some lavender vanilla spray that I'm going to use to spray down the mattress with.
I am all done guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It really helps my channel. And until next time, keep on smiling, stay encouraged, stay safe, be blessed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.